Hi, my name is Jared, and this is where I live now. But for almost two years, my wife and I lived happily in this RV touring with our band. When we first moved in, many aspects of RV living were new to us, especially maintaining the septic system. I'm here to give you the instruction that we had to learn largely through trial and error and other RV travelers. Now this can be done alone, but it's easier to have one person stationed inside monitoring water levels and the other person outside working the hoses and valves. First off, you'll want to put on some gloves. We use disposable latex gloves because they're fairly cheap and once you're done with them, you can just toss them. And once you start working, you won't want to touch your face or anything else. So be sure that if you have long hair, you tie it back or you wear a hat. Make sure to turn off the water pump. That way, you can open the toilet chute without wearing down your RV's coach battery. You'll need two separate garden hoses for this job. A septic hose that you don't mind getting, well, dirty, and a freshwater hose that you want to take better care of. Take your septic hose and run one end out the bathroom window and the other end down the toilet, but not too far, just far enough that the chute valve holds it in place. Next, connect the fresh water hose to the end of the septic hose that's hanging out the window. The water should be off at this point. Your drain hose is often located in the rear bumper of the vehicle. Take your sewer fitting and attach it to the end of the drain hose. You may want to leave this compartment open You'll understand why later. Remove the cap of the RV drainage chute and attach the drainage hose. Place the other end of the drainage hose in the designated sewage hole and secure it with a rock or the lid to make sure it doesn't pop out while you're dumping. In this case, our backyard is equipped with an RV sewage line. Now an RV has three types of water, referred to as white, gray, and black. White water is your clean, fresh water. Gray water is the sewage that runs down the bathroom and kitchen sinks. Black water is the sewage that goes down the toilet. You'll need to empty your black water tank first. That way you can use your gray water, which isn't nearly as dirty, to help rinse out the drain hose. Locate the black water tank. Typically, it's closest to the chute and has bigger pipes. Pull the valve to open the chute and empty the tank. You're only going to want to empty one tank at a time. Otherwise, black water sewage will get into the gray water tank. And that smell will just leak into the RV through the drains. Woo. At this point, you can turn on the water from the hose to help rinse the tank. It's a good idea to thoroughly rinse your black water tank, especially if you haven't emptied it for a while. So once you hear that the tank is empty, close the valve and let it fill again with fresh water. You can have your inside person monitor the water level to make sure that you don't accidentally overflow the toilet. That's a mess you won't want to clean up. Again, open the valve to drain the black water tank. You can repeat the filling and draining process as many times as you see fit. However, you probably won't need to do so more than two or three times. Once the tank is finally empty, close the valve and let it fill with about a gallon of water then turn off the hose. Add a few ounces of RV septic system treatment to your toilet. This helps to minimize the odor and prevent clogs by breaking down waste and septic safe bathroom tissue. Now you're ready to empty your gray water tank. Now legally, you can empty it anywhere because it's not considered as dirty as black water. However, it's usually best to empty it in the same place where you emptied your black water tank. Open the valve and let your gray water drain. The gray water tank will typically take longer to drain, slowing to a trickle by the end. At this point, you can leave the valve open and remove the drain hose, letting the tank continue to drain as you get started on cleanup. With the end of the septic hose kinked or tied off, turn the water back on. You want to give your equipment a good rinse. Rinse out the drain hose, Rinse off the sewer fitting. And finally, closing the gray water tank release valve 
Rinse out the chute and replace the cap. Close up the sewage cover again if need be. Kink off the septic hose again while you shut off the water. Stow the drain hose and drain hose cap in their rightful compartments. Now you can remove your gloves and close the compartment where the sewage fitting is kept. Go ahead and disconnect and stow the septic hose, being careful not to touch the end that has been in the toilet unless you are sanitizing it. I found that pre-treated antibacterial cleaning wipes work well for this. At this point, you're done handling unsanitary things and moving on to things that you'll want to keep sanitary. So you should wash your hands thoroughly with soap and warm water. And most likely, if your black and gray water tanks need to be empty, there's a good chance your white water tank needs to be filled. Now most RV dump sites will have a specified spigot for this labeled potable water. But I'm in my backyard. I need to rely on my garden hose. We'll sanitize the end of the fresh water hose that we just disconnected from the septic hose and stick it in the white water tank. Then we'll let it fill. You'll know when it's full. Remove the hose and shut off the water. Close the tank when you're finished. Finally, turn your water pump back on. There you have it. Ready to roll. Travel safely and thanks for watching my video. Carry on, my brother, carry on. For the love of life.